Hello, this is Stuart Fleming. Tonight we're going to go over some navigation for some people who have been using forms. They want to use the call form function. And JDeveloper is slightly different, but very unique and interesting in its own right. We have the outline of a basic application here. And you can see that we have the model and view controller. There is the ADFC config file. And this file, if I double click on it, uh, is a file that um, you can do some navigation on. I'm waiting here for components to show up. Basically this, you can create a view here. And drag, drag it on there. And um, if you double click that then, then you can create your first page. I'll do a quick, I'll just do a very quick uh, layout here. And you wait. Okay, you can also create the page here. I'm just going to uh, do new. And here you choose JSF. And JSF page. And we'll call this form two. And we have the same setting here. Okay, so now we've got form two, we've got form one, we've got the KDF config, and you can just drag this onto here. So now you have the two forms. And I'll have to see why this is. You see that there's an exclamation there point point there. That sometimes shows up if you don't have a form created, but we just did. So uh, let's take a look at the source. All right, that basically looks OK. I mean, there's some yellow things there. And let's look at the source here. And this is green. So I, I think it was just, uh, yeah, it didn't refresh quickly enough. But if you do look at the source, <clears throat> you can see here that it's green. And there might be some red. Or in the case of the main JS here, you can see that there's some orange or yellow. And if you click on it, um, and do control enter you can see sometimes a little bit more intelligible intelligible um, thing here and you can also click on these so just basically removing the empty facets um, those are some things that'll help make the application more um, what's the word <clears throat> faster because it's not sending as much information now what we're doing here is go form 2 and here we're going to go go main. And if we can spell it, it'll even be better. <clears throat> All right, so we have form two. And let's go to the design. OK, and I'm basically going to, I want to put, you know, let's put a layout. Panel header is pretty good. Oh, there it goes. I think I dropped in something quickly here. Um, let's get rid of that. I don't know what that is. Oh, I must have clicked on it twice because I put it twice in here. We're just going to put the name of it. Um, so main. And we'll put a uh, panel header here too. We'll put it in the top. I don't really care much about size. I just formed two. And this is just so that we can show that, in fact, we are moving from one form to another. And we're going to do common components and button. OK, the button is surrounded by a, um, or it's taking up the whole thing. So we're going to surround it with a group layout. And that will shrink it down. Um, now, let's click on the button there. And you can see that the button is go. And here is where you actually set the action. Go main. I guess we're on form two. So save. Um, save time. I'm just going to take this whole panel header here. Uh, that should be fine. And Set that in there and look at design view. 
in here. Uh, well, we have to change that <coughs> name. And if we go to the go button, it's not go main, but it's go form two. Okay, so let's start this puppy up and run it. Actually, while that's starting up, we can do another thing. We'll put a task flow down here. Now, a task flow is very similar uh, to um, the ADFC config, but it's its own little area. And again, we can put a view in here. And we'll just put that in. And you can see that it's got a green halo. That means it's the default activity. And you have to have a default activity in a task flow. And we're going to have a task flow return. Back. Well, I did not spell right. B A C K. And this, of course, we're going to create. Okay, so again, I'm just going to copy some of this stuff in. I think we can maybe get the whole form in. Okay, where is it? Task flow JSPX. Okay, some of these times you actually create a uh, form, and this one will say task flow low form. And let's go to design, and this one is actually going to be return. Now that back refers to the task flow call back, right? Okay, let's save this. If we're started up, we'll start with our main and do run. You know what? I forgot to do one main minor but major thing. Hold on. And we forgot to do this. So what we're going to do is put in go task flow. Okay. Save on the form two. We'll go to design, and we'll put in a button. Let's go in. There we go. And this one, the action is going to be go task flow. So I'm just gonna probably could start running it, but I'm gonna close it off just to be sure. Okay, I'm going to start this again. Run on the main. Okay, and here's our form. We're on the main form. We press go. And we arrive at form two. I'm going to press go, and it takes us back. It should have been back. Now we're going to go press this command one button, which is taking us over to the task flow. And you can see now we press the return. So that's the basics of um, working with JDeveloper and navigation. You have this ADFC config, which is in most cases the starting form. Um, you actually probably put most everything in task flows and also within task flows. This is a JSPX file, but you may actually work only with JSF or JSFF, which are page, page fragments. So these are some of the things that you might want to consider when uh, navigating um, what kind of ways you wanted to go. And I also have a video on working with Wildflow, uh, these guys, Wildcard um, control flows. Um, so please see that video also. Thank you very much. Have a good evening.